Good night guys, um, for tonight I'd like just to show you how to actually use Camtasia Studio 8. Now this is a great piece of software. What we use this software to do is that it's great for editing your YouTube videos. If you do a lot of YouTube videos or any form of video editing, this would be a great piece of software to actually use to actually get you to edit your videos. What you can do with this and I'll be showing you tonight is to want to edit your videos so you can reduce background noise for example you're recording a video and there's a lot of chatter in the background or just um, static noise right it's really annoying so you can eliminate those from your recordings other than that guys i'll be showing you how to rotate your video for example you shoot a video and for some strange reason you put the camera in the wrong position it was a great shot you don't want to waste that shot you can actually rotate it edit it and place it on youtube and best of all this software reduces the file size to acceptable file size so it be great for uploading right so without further ado i'll start the tutorial first by showing you how to rotate the video all right so remember i'll place a link to the software down below in the description so you can download it if you like it right okay guys so let's begin first of all this is the camtasia studio user interface i'm using version 8 all right so let's say you shot a video and the video is upside down um, here i did a video on the hp 2000 laptop now for some strange reason my video is upside down so i'm going to drag it here and i'm going to put it in your clip bin over here all right so the clip bin is right here by clicking here you get to the, the you get to the clip bin right before you can edit anything at all in camtasia you need to first place it in the clip bin so here's the clip bin over here and in order to actually use this clip that you just drew over you'd have to actually place it onto the timeline down here so i'm going to drop it on the timeline in the place of track one here notice there's a pop-up and it asks you um, basically what resolution you want to actually use as the dimensions for your video now due to everybody using hd i recommend that you use at least the hd standard of 720p now of course there's a higher standard such as um, 1080p right so if you want to keep the native resolution of your video which is hd let's use the recommended dimensions as to the video are one of your most recent if you have done it in the past right in my case i'm going to use the recording dimensions which is the hd quality right okay and you ask it for the background color if you don't know what to use i recommend using a background color such as white it normally works right press ok now you notice here that towards the start there is a little gap i'm gonna push it the timeline all the way out right there you go and as you see due to placing this thing closer to the end of the timeline you notice the video has appeared so i'm gonna play the video all right hey guys i'm back again for today's um review i have the all right i'm gonna pause it if you notice here that for some reason i had mistakenly placed the camera in a upside down um, view so this video is actually upside down now the idea is in order to get this to be on the right side what i have to do is actually rotate it now if you look very closely towards the center of the video you'll notice two small circles and remember this is version 8 of camtasia studio right let's place it right here you can pause you can use the eye quality and you can look at what i'm doing exactly you notice there is a little circle with a rotation mark you click on that little circle right and you notice i'm able to free rotate right all i'm gonna do is turn this video um over flip it onto the until it actually is now um turned in the right orientation right now if i play this video again from the beginning You'll notice now that it's corrected. Hey guys, I'm back again now for today's um, review. I have the HP 2000 as the. Alright, now that is how you actually fix the problem where your video is upside down or for some reason you hold the camera in the wrong direction. Now that this is finished, what you'd have to actually do now is actually go ahead and save your project to do that all you have to do is just click up here on product and share right and it says produce and share you can actually either share directly to youtube or just produce it you don't mean that you have to share but 
that's how you actually see it right i'm not going to do that right now so all i'm simply going to do next is show you how to actually reduce background sounds now if you're near the audio it's kind of off pitch and um you'll notice also that there's a lot of background noise right so what you do to do this is to correct background uh, noise is to go to audio down here all right you notice that they down here on the timeline you notice there are variance in the audio now to level out the audio so everything sounds even you look up here you notice it says enable volume leveling right all you have to do is just check volume leveling to make everything sound even without there's too much highs and lows right so i enable volume um, leveling if you notice here on the timeline all of this is highlighted and it's showing you that all the audio has been topped off for most sections right so there is a specific high and most of all there is specific lows so the audio won't sound off i'm gonna play it so let's listen very carefully again hey guys i'm back again now for today's um review i have the hp 2000 that's the 2b owner w all right now guys if you're listening again you notice that now that the audio there is not too much jittering but still yet there's background noise now be able to on it <laughs> sorry about that enable in order to um disable the or uh, remove the background noise you're gonna click enable noise removal right and you can actually hear the video again hey guys i'm back again now for today's all right so it's a slightly better now sometimes you have terrible background noise probably you live in an area where there's noise outside and you try to record uh, even show some of the noise so what you actually do here is to actually you can actually remove um, clipping and you can remove clicks and you can actually mess with the sensitivity now note that higher sensitivity doesn't actually mean that you're gonna get a better sound so you have to experiment with these by adjusting the click sensitivity and also adjusting the overall sensitivity all right now i'm gonna play again with these to enable to give you an idea of what it sounds like again hey guys i'm back again now for today's um review i have the hp 2000 all right so as you can hear the volume is now level and also then the volume is level you'll notice that also most of the background sound is off now for best results in reducing background noise other than to remove all the clicks and remove all the um, of um, clipping it's actually to adjust the sensitivity um, for example if I were to adjust this sensitivity level of this to say 60 right and play the audio again you'll notice a difference in the audio quality hey guys I'm back again now for today's um and usually if there's a persistent background noise that should correct it but I would advise you not to go too close to 100% best results is between 50 and about 60 there about so the higher you go the audio will kind of get muffled right so okay guys I hope this tutorial has helped you um, Camtasia Studio is a great piece of software there are plenty more tricks that this software can um, do other than to reduce background noise and rotate your videos I'll do future videos showing you what the capability of this software is so guys please remember to comment rate and subscribe right so thank you guys for watching remember check the links down below to check out the software where you can get it you can get it on amazon for a decent price and trust me it's worth it so it's a little bit expensive but trust me if you're gonna invest in the youtube it is a great piece of software to buy all right guys so thanks and thanks for watching and tuning in please remember to like rate 